Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve or fix the unknown USB device, device descriptor request failed error message you are receiving on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And this error has existed in earlier versions of Windows as well, but this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. And you want to search for control panel. Go ahead and open up control panel from this list. And you want to go and select the view by up in the top right and select large icons. Go down to power options. And then select the change plan settings button that corresponds to the plan that's currently being selected or active. And then select change advanced power settings. And now you want to expand the USB setting selection and then expand USB selective suspend setting. So click the little plus sign after that. And there should be a setting in here. It says either enabled or if you click in here, it can say disabled. You want to go ahead and select disabled and then select apply and OK. And then you want to close out of here. And now open up the search menu and type in device manager. Best result should come back with device manager. So go ahead and open that up. Let me just make this a little bit bigger here. And you want to expand the universal serial bus controller selection in there. And you want to go and just right click on each of these devices in here one at a time and select update driver, select browse my computer for drivers, and then select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer, and then select next, assuming there's only one generic driver, which that's probably the case in your situation. And you just sort of work down the list and do all of them in here the same way. And then once you're done, you would close out of there and then restart your computer. And then hopefully the issue has been resolved. You may want to try plugging the USB flash drive into a different port or a different computer altogether and see if you're having an issue with that particular flash drive, which is certainly a potential cause for the issue. Those flash drives are not meant to last forever. I have seen that from plenty of experience. They do not hold up very well. So just keep that in mind. But like I said, pretty straightforward process. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.